Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. As stated before, we are going to get into a little bit of EE today. So, yeah, I did sort up my inventory a little bit. I think I still had something over here cooking. Yep, there we go. Okay, so, now we have food. We need to make sure we have everything else. So, first thing on our agenda is to actually make the alchemy stone. And it's right here. So, this stone will actually let us, like, right-click on the floor and all that kind of good stuff. Turn any, like, stone into cobblestone or into dirt or sand and then keep going back and forth. So, you know, it'll be easy to change, like, certain things. But, that's why we need to do this. You could easily start all this up with just five glowstone, four to make this, and then one to make it remember when you make the uh, transmutation table. And then that's all you need. You, and then you just... St keep copying it and copying it and then you're good to go but what we have right here is four redstone four glowstone and one diamond and you can see that uh, redstone and glowstone can be arranged in any order to actually get you what you want let's grab the form okay now let's head back over here and get it crafted so one two three four one two three four there we go. Philosopher's Oh, uh, sorry, I call it alchemy stone. It's philosopher's stone. I highly doubt it works on me. Yeah, it doesn't not work on these. You can charge it by pushing V. And this just makes the area that it does fa uh, better. Shift V will uh, reduce its charge. And also that I noticed is my bat pack was completely full. While well, it was sitting in here. So... Yes, we got that made now. The next thing to make is our alchemy or a transmutation table. That's a there's a tablet and a table. One's trans it's the same thing, just one you can take around with you. And that's for uh build craft three the assembly. But here we go. So it's four smooth stone, four obsidian, and the philosopher's stone. That's why I was saying earlier when we were digging up the obsidian we needed a couple more. So there's four, and then one, two, three, four. Like I said, I was expecting I needed to use one of those. And let's just put these exactly how they were. And this in the middle. It doesn't use this. All these will be, but this is just an instant use. It will also uh, use up any charge that's in it. So just watch out for that. Transmutation table. And there's a fossil stone. The only way to use, lose that is to like lose it throw it away or something so we're gonna keep this over by where our uh let's see we're gonna have to have a main chest for all the sorting to go on uh let's just put it over here because this isn't gonna be here forever this is gonna be moved somewhere else and then random shit will be fed into it it'll be like our crap chest or whatever anything from a quarter if we get too much stone it'll start pouring in there and then start feeding into like I said, like maybe a diamond factory, so dirt, cobblestone, and all that, that's just one. But here we go. This will learn any item, as you can see, it says learn. It'll tell you the value that it is. You can also see that by the mod. It says 384 and 384 uh, EMC. So pretty much you just teach it every single thing that you know. And that way, if you need certain things, like certain things it won't know. It doesn't. It won't learn ore, but it will learn certain certain things from all these mods that they put in. You want to learn torches that way you don't have to like start making a whole bunch more. And just to show you guys here, we have these. Uh, where are they? Let's see. This won't work. But uh, yeah, I was hoping I had a ore. So that's forty nine thousand. But as you can tell up here, it's locked to fuel. So that'll be a way I'll show you in a little bit of how to break that cycle of going to fuel and matter like these are. Matter are actual items that are, I would say, usable or placeable in like these. But then again, it's also fuel. Anything that can burn, glowstone, wood, all, or not wood. Wood is considered matter, but charcoal, all that kind of stuff is an actual fuel. But there's a way to convert that over. But 
I am going to make sure it knows everything and then we will be right back. Okay, well, got everything done. Everything is in here and is known. So, the next part to do is actually start getting some other stuff made up. We actually are going to dip into the energy cycle here. We need to grab some of these. Going to make ourselves a glowstone block. I'm going to teach it real quick. So whenever you make something new that you haven't taught it, teach it real quick. Because that way it knows it so you don't actually have to like, keep messing with it. And see it still feels so like say I had a whole bunch and I didn't feel like crafting off. I could just throw them all in here, burn it, and then get it. And this is the burning. So it burns it so it's no longer there. But whatever you could use, that amount of fuel, you could get. So I could get like the four of these for that. Or I could just get one of those back. Then it uses all the EMC. So, yeah. That's that. Now... We do need to make our way up to the Kelvin Star, so, I mean, this is all in the same thing. I'm not like, kind of skip here. We have the Klin, or the N, Der, I can't even pronounce half of these. But yeah, so it's, this is the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then we have the Omega, which is the sixth. So. Those will all go in order. You take four of these to make one of these, four of these, and yada, yada, yada. And these get really pricey extremely fast. Because, I mean, look at this. We have, this is a Mobulus fuel with one diamond. Then it takes four of those. And then to make the next one, we need four of those. And then four of those and four of those. So, you know, technically you need like 12, 16, 18, blah, blah, blah. But you can teach uh, the actual transmutation table these and then effectively just start teaching you know just getting it as soon as you have enough EMC instead of having to build it over and over so one thing is is that these all have a certain <clears throat> amount of how much energy they can use I believe this first one is a hundred thousand the second one is two hundred thousand and it changes up and there's also another one that's higher than this it uses two Omega stars and it is uh, some kind of book. I just heard of it. So, well, you know, it's going to take a while to get there. Not a lot of people will actually get to that point. But, yeah, so there's going to be that. So, let's actually get to the first thing we need to do to be able to turn that into it. We can. There are a couple ways to actually get to that field. And that the first one is to make a... Hang on, I need to get my start. Oh, there it is. Okay. There is a energy condenser. Let's get this up here. Okay, right here. This uses light and converts it into energy. And it will convert items into fuel into certain items. So we need a diamond block, one glass, six redstone, and one furnace. The other way is to actually put uh, coal or fuel into the actual table and then it will convert it into the higher up one so as you can see here I'll show you guys where there it is okay there's charcoal and then we'll get some coal so this is how you can also change charcoal into coal because some of the EE stuff runs better on coal than charcoal you get like a 25% boost in effectancy so look there's a red step plant but right here, this will convert coal, four coal, into one alchemy coal. And then you need four of these to make one mobulus fuel. And then four mobulus fuel to make an eternalus fuel. Or see, we can get one coal from the four charcoal. Or we can get four charcoal from the one coal. It's a whole how much it's worth. Charcoal is worth 128, and one of these is 32. So effectively, that should equal exactly 128. And then, you know, these, blah, blah, blah. Some of these you can't do it with, but we are going to do it the other way and just use the energy condenser. I like to do it the other way in case I'm like one or two off and don't really have anything I can throw in there. So, energy condenser was six of the things. Normally, I would just throw some fuel or whatever, like redstone, and try to get the rest. But since I was out there and got more than enough glowstone, we'll just use these. Since we already know how to make glowstone, we're just going to grab these. There we go. 
And oh wait, we need to grab our glass and stone for a funness. Wait, all glass is over here. Okay, there's one. Then we need some. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's those. And we need nine diamonds or eight diamond block. Okay then, so that should be it. We will be, the whole point of this, we have to make a whole bunch of these to actually get the whole thing up and running. But first, we can just make one. It didn't go from there. So, put our six like that. Oh wait, we need to make our uh, stove first. So, we all know how to make the actual furnace itself. Got there, the, oh my gosh, really? Keep messing up what I need to make first. And there's our block pop. Now, block, stone, glowstone, glass, energy collector. So, like I said, we're going to put these over here. And this is also why I have this open, for the sun. So since this is right here, we need to go one out. And this will be... We're going to put it one over because it's kind of going to make a uh, star shape, if I guess you want to say. You can tell how much light it's getting here. For some reason, an update made it to where uh, it'll still show it full, even if it's like really dark, but it's not getting a full amount. So the best way is to put a glowstone on it, or have it out in the middle of the nowhere with light. But you also have to watch it with the solar and everything else like that. So from here, you can either put this in here, and it'll convert it to something else. Go glow, uh, you know gunpowder and it starts building up as you see it had a charge so it instantly changed it we can put actual glowstone in here and it'll go up that's closer to it I forgot the exact order that it all goes in but I believe glowstone is the closest to the actual alternative fuels so we're gonna let that go and then yes while we are waiting for that and also all these, like say if I took that and I put that right next to this, it'll start feeding energy because it gains energy from the sun and start making what's ever in here. So since this is one, it gets one every second and then this is adjacent to it so it'll get like an extra one or two. I think it's one and then the energy collectors have three different marks. There's mark one, mark two, mark three. And then every one will give it an additional one and it also gains a lot more. So we could effectively make like a whole stack of these in a matter of just seconds and then pouring anything in there will make uh, that stop giving energy and convert that but we also have a energy or an antimatter uh, an antimatter collector it'll actually break down these items that was actually have an EMC value like see this one doesn't but it'll break these down into pure EMC and then we just take them out so since we are waiting for this to actually get us our fuel, so this is almost done here. Once this actually reaches where we need it to be, we will get what we want. But I want to show you guys real quick how this actually doesn't affect trees. Right down here. But see, it does count as kind of like a, uh, what do you call it, shears, so you can get your uh, actual things, the uh, branches. Leaves, my bad. But yeah, I thought that was uh, kind of annoying at first. So let's get back in here and uh, check this out. There we go, mobilized fuel. So, since we have one of those now, we just come right down over here, teach it to this so now it knows it, so it's 2048. That is the equivalent of one, uh, iron, one gold bar since gold is 2048 but this is fuel so we can't trade matter for fuel as you can tell this is this is also fuel so we can use some of these to make it and we need at least eight of those so and just putting these like this won't actually count you gotta see it's 1000 for one place so now now it's at 3045 four six seven so now we just shift click now we got three, four. We're gonna want a little bit more than that, so we actually have enough. There's seven, so let's get one more. 
And there we go. So we have one to keep, so we can actually get to that certain one later. And yeah, now we can actually craft this. So we need to get one this is diamond. We will take this over here, put this here, and then start surrounding it. And there we go, Kelvin Star. So like you, like I was just showing you, how it uh doesn't let you go here, right here. We got some wood here. This is matter. So we can't. This is your lock. This will tell you no matter what you put in, it will try to get to that. So see, no matter what, it's gonna try to get to this. It's 32, so you know. We'll try to sit here and break it up, but these are only one, so we can't. So now the total is eight, but we can get some of the other ones, but not that. And watch it, there is a kind of bug sometimes when you log out. Any EMC that's left in here, so like say I put this in here and burn it, now that's there. So if I go off and blah blah and come back, that's still there. But if you exit the game, you know, just this world, it won't be there. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's not. That's what this is for. So see, now that, like, say I don't want those, I just want the EMC from it, the 64. Pop this down. Now it's learning this, but it also took the charge out. Now this has a charge of 64. Now, let's say I wanted some, uh, yeah, some, some of this wood. It's 32. Put this in here. Now I can actually get this wood. I can set this as the target, and then the top one is the target. So I click that, and bam. Nothing else will pop up, blah, 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 and I got more of that wood could burn this and it's still set to matter so I have to remove this so that it's not locked to just matter and I can get out redstone or matter because it will do any of them and that is pretty much the lowdown on it and then there's also the fact that I can take the charge that's out of here can I yeah see how I put it in here and it's starting to remove all this draining it into the star so now as you saw it had like 700 and something we have a value of 718 in here so now we can get some of the higher stuff so the next one on our agenda is the antimatter right there antimatter so that also takes one block of diamond one glass and all obsidian so let's make that real quick Oh, let's get off of the chainsaw. So, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we also need our obsidian. Should have been in here. Where'd go? Hello, Clarice, where'd you go? I couldn't have used all that obsidian. Wait, probably... Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're going to need seven and then one piece of glass. So, just like before, uh, let's just... We already know our uh, diamond block. We need stone for our actual... Uh, wait, we don't even need one. What am I talking about? Okay, so... Diamond... Glass, obsidian, antimatter. So let's grab some items that we know we won't actually need here. And as you can tell, see, it's a uh, antimatter related blah blah. Putting this right next to this right here will send all of this into this adjacent one. It'll keep this. But whatever else comes in, we'll just go straight to here and start building up. But we can put these in here and we'll start burning these down. These are one, so it'll start giving it one. And see, it's going relatively slow. The next one up, the Mach 2 will go a little bit faster. And the Mach 3 will go insanely fast. I believe it can do a full stack of anything in about 10 seconds or something like that. Or, I mean, you see, brrr, done, brrr, done, and you can have six. Next one, I believe, just has an extra row, and the other one has a total of 12, I believe. Yeah, I think it's 6, 9, and then it adds a row down here for 12. So, anywho, that's all in there. To take this charge out, because this bar up here is how much it can hold. Put this here, it drains it out, and gives us it. 
and this also has a bar to show you how full it is so yeah there are a couple ways that you can do this you can either break down everything on the EMC so you have it on your uh, Kelvin star and everything or you can just keep them like this like the bars and stuff so you actually have them and you go back and do what you need to later on there are some certain items like this right here that I won't be able to use for a little bit for a nuclear reactor that are actually relatively very valuable as you can see they're 49,000 as you also saw on the transmutation table so we throw one of these in here bam look at that so judging by this this is about halfway 49,000 total would be about 100,000 that this can hold we throw this in here and it just starts speeding off filling this up and draining this out also the higher Kelvin stars also give you a lot more and as you can tell the EMC value of this item is getting higher and higher by the more EMC it has relatively it's about half of what how much it has in here so this is 12 it's about 27 blown you know it's about half and this is almost full I believe it holds a charge of 50,000 so once this is full you're gonna have to get something else or you know it's just not gonna fill it so that's a, yep see 50,000 so this one can hold a hundred thousand and then you just make more of these because this can feed off to every single one of its points so you got four all the way on the side you got one on top and one on bottom that's six all together that it can feed this can receive on all six of its sides so you can adjacently it's called a uh, energy flower I believe it's pretty much you know and it's how I'll be doing a lot of it you put one of these one here and you basically just make this giant flower around a condenser or an antimatter and then you just put your Calvin star in there and every single amount of energy that is coming in is being converted straight into the star all at one time so we need to eat real quick and yeah I believe that is it but real quick let's see if we can get another see what all we can get from this well, we know that these Kelvin stars are 24,000 each. And we want a bigger one because that 50, that five, uh, that, that 50,000 charge that it holds is a little bit low for my taste. So, let's grab two more of these. So, we actually have three now. So, we are one short. Well, how do we fix that? Easy. We have more uranium. Uranium. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, throw one more of these in here and start collecting so once this is all in here we go in here make one more but you gotta make sure that you actually use all the energy in it because when you craft the next one all energy that's in it is gone so that's something you have to actually kinda watch out for so since we know that we don't need that much we only need 24,000 something we'll just pop this in here get out this we have a 4,000 charge left, so we can actually get some stuff that's pretty valuable to us or that we would need that we need to craft later. So let's get some more of this Immobius fuel that we need. There, 528 isn't a big loss. So let's upgrade this. And we also have the recipe, just one, two, three, and four. And there we go. That is the next step up. This one will take the energy out a little bit faster. See, it's a little bit faster, I mean, because there's six different versions of it, so it, you know, it gradually goes up. But our next step would be to either keep this one, as you can see, it holds a lot more. I think it holds a 150,000 or, a, I think, no, this one holds a 200,000 charge, I believe. So, and as you can see, this is building up. You could just keep this in here, and all the energy is automatically put in here. So, like, if we're off here messing around, we come back, like, in 30 minutes, and this will probably be, like... I don't know, 30,000 or something like that. It's really slow until we get more of the anti, um, or the energy collectors and more, all those. So yeah, that should probably be about it. This episode is probably going to be a little bit longer than the others. I am sorry about that, but we will see you guys next time. And I am not exactly too sure what we will be doing then, but it will probably be fun. So look forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.